The San Francisco Bay will soon have a zero emissions ferry floating in its waters, propelled completely by hydrogen fuel cells. Uh, it's the first vessel, uh, first commercial vessel in the world that's got that, uh, that propulsion system. Pace Raleigh, chief executive of Switch Maritime, said he conceived of the idea for the one-of-a-kind ferry, aptly named Sea Change, while living in New York City, trying to find ways to decarbonize the maritime industry. Uh, I was actually riding a ferry between Manhattan and Brooklyn. I was living in Brooklyn at the time and really thought that uh, this could be a fit for, um, for this new technology, for decarbonized technology. The 70-foot ferry will service multiple stops along San Francisco's waterfront. Built at All-American Marine Shipyard in Bellingham, Washington, Sea Change is undergoing tests with the U.S. Coast Guard in nearby Puget Sound. Officials hope it is a harbinger of the changes to come on the high seas. In the engine room, three hydrogen fuel cell stacks whir away while helping power two propellers that move the ferry along at a top speed of 20 knots. The system is automated so that when it needs power, it starts up the fuel cells. All-American Marine Project Manager Jeff Sokolik stands at the helm of the sea change, pressing buttons on a touchscreen that engage automated systems communicating with the engine room. This is going to be the next standard, is fuel cell-driven vessels. They're clean, they're efficient, and they make sense economically. Advocates say hydrogen fuel cells are cleaner than other carbon-cutting methods as they only emit water and heat, but the technology has only seen limited usage in many industries on concerns about high costs and the bulky size of fuel cell systems. But it could help the industry move towards a zero-emission future as it struggles to hit sustainability targets. You know, the shipping industry uses, on average, around 300 million tons a year of carbon-intensive fuels. Um, the impacts of that, I think, are you know pretty well known. Uh, about a, a shipping industry emits, on average, about a billion tons of CO2 and other greenhouse gases a year. Rally believes the sea change could be a game changer. We can use this technology on all sorts of vessels. This also helps prove that hydrogen-based fuels can work in maritime, and I think that's a really big sort of factor for. Um, uh, for other ship owners to get comfortable adopting this technology and, uh, and, and investing in it.